Thank you. Today, today we honor we honor Elizabeth Taylor for who she is as much as for what she does. For me, Elizabeth Taylor is the ultimate humanitarian because she is the embodiment of love, compassion, faith, and integrity. And she has been that ideal for hundreds of millions of fans over the five decades of her illustrious career. Elizabeth began her career when she was nine years old and since then having starred in some of the greatest of all American films. She has been <laughs> and <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. She has been and continues to be one of the most celebrated women of the 20th century. I love you too. Uh, I know that from having the honor of being a friend of Elizabeth Taylor's that she has no need for another trophy or plaque to recognize her humanitarian work on behalf of the fight against AIDS. I also know Elizabeth is here tonight not for any ego gratification, but because this gives her another chance to get the all-important message out to the public, the message of AIDS awareness and the need for compassion and the efforts to find a cure. Through the formation of AMFAR in 1986 and her own Elizabeth Taylor's AIDS Foundation, no one has done more to fight this dreaded disease. I love you. <laughs> but. But, uh, but, in knowing, but in knowing Elizabeth, I know her reward comes from the work itself, from the small battles won in this all-out war, from the gain she has been responsible for by illuminating the problem for the world to see, and from the unspoken thanks of the victims whose lives she have enhanced during their times on earth. In the midst of my recent trials and tribulations, Elizabeth stood by my side with unwavering strength and support. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. Up there, I love you too. <laughs> I can see you. Elizabeth stands for truth. She is immune to criticism and unfearful of any challenge and places the highest truth and the wisdom of her own heart and the direct knowledge of her own intuition. She is not swayed by public opinion because she knows in the end, truth always triumphs. Elizabeth, I love you, and we all honor you not only for what you stand for, but also for the magnificence of who you are. The world is a better place because of your existence. Because Elizabeth is so unselfish in her devotion to humanity, it is doubly fitting that she be the recipient of the Jackson Family Honors Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Elizabeth Taylor. to be here with the amazing Jackson family and my beloved friend Michael, whose kindness, generosity, and caring for the, the world inspires millions. Michael, 
is a remarkable human being yeah. with talent beyond comprehension, compassion beyond bounds, and commitment to others beyond compare. Michael, we who know you more intimately than others acknowledge the suffering you have endured because we have suffered with you. But in the, midst, in the midst of our deepest anguish, we have known that you would prevail through this dark hour, that you would emerge stronger, but still innocent, childlike, trusting, bruised but still magically untouched by the tongues and opinions of the world. Hurt but still gloriously loving and benevolent despite the slings and arrows of those who knew no better. Enough of tabloid media. Enough of tabloid television. And you know, only you, the public, can accomplish this simply by not buying their garbage. you can put them out of business. Only you, and wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Michael, we know that your recent torture is not going to alter or change your compassion and love for children. You know it. There is beauty and truth in your being. You are the brightest star in the universe. Don't let anything dim your leading light. And neither persons nor circumstances can ever take it away from you. And surely, Surely, Michael, you still are the king of pop without a doubt. I love you so much, Michael. I'm... to hear Michael sing, but he doesn't have any music prepared and he hasn't rehearsed. Oh, come on. That's not nice. That's not nice. Hey, he came all the way here to see you guys. Don't boo, that's an ugly sound. Anyway, thank you all for honoring me, uh, for merely doing 
what I must do. Good night.